That bike ride literally wore me out. I'm exhausted. I've been sitting here. I'm now at the picnic area of Staunton River State Park, and I am just exhausted. I had a bunch of Twizzlers, but that was it. Ah, for those of you that don't know how I get my water, I have a five gallon water jug here and a battery powered electric pump that pumps out the water so I can literally have it like a faucet. That's how I get my water. It's the simple things like that that can transform van life and make it more easy. If you're gonna do van life, having water is essential and how you get your water is going to be one question you're going to ask yourself. They have manual pumps. They have the battery powered electric pumps. You could put a dedicated water tank on there like an RV and have like water pumps and yeah, it's it's whatever you like, whatever your budget is. I'm also going to show you another way that sometimes I get water pretty much for free. I'm currently at a picnic area in a state park. In this state park specifically, each state park varies and probably will vary by state. But this one has a water spigot right here. I just put my five gallon jug down there, turn the water on and boom, free water. And if it doesn't have a sign in a state park, usually it's it's potable water that water is pretty much municipal water meaning it's been in a municipal treated facility some it may be wells or some it may be self-sustaining um, have their own facility this is exactly what I hate the most, trash, there's trash all over here. Just look at this. How hard is it to pack it in and pack it out? Seriously. I'm going back to the van and get my trash bag and I'm cleaning this crap up. This is one of the reasons I carry these bags with me in extra trash bags so I can clean up crap like this. All of this, just now, and the trash cans literally right up the path. Jeez. Before I found that monstrosity, I was trying to show you all this amazing view right here. This is the Dan River, but a little ways up here, the Staunton River converges with the Dan River. So two rivers meet literally right here. I know some of y'all probably wondering how in the world do I take showers? 
baby wipes sometimes. You also can put water in a pot like this. Boil it for hot water and then take a washcloth and wash off. There's truck stops, there's community centers, there's campgrounds, there's uh, gyms, nationwide chain gyms like Planet Fitness and even creeks, lakes. So if you do decide to do van life, there's so many ways to stay clean on the road. Here's another random tip. Get a trash can with a lid on it. You'll thank yourself later. You can't smell anything coming out of that trash can. I've had food and everything in it. You cannot smell it. Well, explorers, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or want to know any more tips or tricks of the trade from being in this van for a year part time just comment down below let me know and i'll be happy to answer those questions for you i've did a ton of research i've lived this experience but until next time peace love and always have a great day wherever you are